That is making for some really rough waters and the job a lot more dangerous. Covering the environment is nothing less than wild. What did I get? It's a ling. Yeah. Okay, that was 100% my fish. I've watched a sick turtle get hyperbaric treatment in a human hospital and flown with that same turtle to California for his return to the ocean. I've flown in seaplanes and landed in the biggest school of jellyfish I've ever seen. Large mass of jellyfish. I've flown with the Coast Guard to track crab poachers. Sometimes the animals fly too, like these mountain goats relocated from the Olympic National Park. Here they come! I've watched as celebrity bears ran free. Allison! Allison! Hey, watch these! I rode on cattle drives to track wolf recovery and rode on boats to track the health of our beloved and endangered southern resident orcas. It's like beyond our wildest dreams. I climbed mountains, trekked in the snow, crossed rivers. <coughs> Sometimes I even got to bring my dog or ride my horse. I was always and only good at being myself. I even met my husband on the job. Hey, we're in South Africa! <laughs> traveled across the world to see how he protects endangered rhinos and elephants. Structure on the beach is actually my shower. <laughs> Meeting people like Phil Green, who lived all alone on his own island, got me thinking. It's functional during the non-freezing months. <laughs> I realized on all the adventures, this is not just a job. This is life. And maybe I can live a little wild, too. My husband and I bought an Airstream we're renovating to live in off grid. There's no one else here. Hello? Nope. Because it turns out if you tell stories of the wild long enough, the wild becomes a part of your story too. Okay, so Allison will still be working in the field she is so passionate about. She's taking a job with the Department of Natural Resources. But we're going to miss her. She's one of a kind, oh, beloved here. Absolutely. So we wish you all the best, Allison. We really do. Stay in touch.